Exactly what I want to do. Would that be possible? I don't want to use you to fight or anything like Reen does. I just want to see what it's like inside, just for a little while, if that's okay. Hmm. Is that not possible or something? You said they were secondary contractors, so I was thinking it wouldn't be a problem, but maybe I had the wrong idea. You do not. It is entirely possible for secondary contractors to board me. Really? However, only my Awakener is able to operate me as intended. There is no comprehensible reason for anyone else to desire access to my interior. Huh? It's okay! I don't need to operate you, honest. Thanks, Valimar. Can you let her inside, then? As you wish. Did you really have to pick this position? Well, I have more than sufficient room for a human and a familiar to ride in comfort, an extra human just with an unforeseen demand on available space. I am afraid there is not much I could do under the circumstances. Oh, you are so lying. Oh, it's fine. I guess I can make do for a little while. It's kind of... Weird sitting like this with you, but I guess I am the one who asked for it. I'll live. Well, if you're all right with it, I'm sure not going to complain, but... So this is what Valimar looks like on the inside, huh? It's kind of gloomy, isn't it? Well, there's not much point in having the front screen on when I'm not actually fighting. I have it up often enough these days, but... Honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. I can see outside fine when I need to. Oh, right. It's weird to sit here and think of all the battles you fought with Valimar. When you fought those Alliance Soldats and against Scarlet and Vulcan, you were right where you're sitting now. Even when you fought with Crow. The fights are always different, but the scenery in here doesn't change much. I'm usually so caught up in the fight that I don't really pay much attention to what it looks like inside here. Selene and Valimar have helped me a lot, though, so I'm getting better at this whole thing, bit by bit. It's just not fair. We're your classmates and your friends. We're supposed to be fighting alongside each other all the way. But you and Valimar always take on the hardest battles. All we can really do is back you up from the sidelines. And to be honest, it's been on my mind for a while now. It bugs me to feel like we're just not doing enough. Oh. So that's why you wanted to see what Valimar looked like on the inside? Yeah. I thought if I could, I'd have a better understanding of what you go through and what it must be like. Looking around, it feels even more isolated than I expected. Lonely, even. Seeing all the things you do from the outside, then seeing what it looks like on the inside, I have to wonder, are you okay with the way things are? Are you okay with putting yourself on the line over and over like this? Shouldering such a huge burden all alone, and even the burden of those lives you weren't able to save? Lisa, I've never once felt like I was fighting those battles alone. You said it yourself, right? I've got all of you backing me up, either on the ground or on the courageous. Sure, you're not inside Valimar with me, but I know you all have my back. That's why I can keep fighting day after day. In 
that sense, it's not so different from our days at Thor's. Well... You don't have to worry about me, Elisa. As long as I know you're all there, and that I can look forward to seeing you again after each operation, I'll fight my hardest, and I'll come home the victor. All I ask is that you keep me in your heart, and lend me your aid. Always, Reen. Just don't go doing anything too reckless in here, okay? You're really important to all of us. But especially to me, so... Elisa... What is it, Velimar? I have detected an abnormal increase in your heart rates. Maintaining optimal health is ideal. I recommend rest and a medical examination. No, it's okay. We're fine. We're doing... great. Yeah, never felt better. Thanks for worrying about us, Velimar. Hmm. 